All right, guys, sorry. Um, had a mattress delivered, so we're going to finish this up. So we're going to get this one on here now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my wrench on it. And you can also hold this nut to stop it from spinning. So we'll take these pair of pliers here and do that. Okay. So, there we go. Take this, bring it down. Slowly bring this one on too. If we could angle this where I can spin the wrench, it might make life a little easier for me. There we go. Not this one, so let's go here because you know it's not going to go that far. And we're going to clamp this one to get this one started because what that's doing is that's actually drawing the other one in, which is good, but we're not ready for that yet. I'm going to put this one here. Such a pain doing this, but it's critical because you want these washers. You want these washers up against this thing. <laughs> so grab this here, hold it, and just turn to get this going. There we go. Spin her around. Down she goes. And what this is going to do is it's going to stop the axle from like spinning in the PVC, which would wear it out. You're going to actually kind of freeze this axle so the wheel will spin on the threads instead of the whole axle turning within the, the PVC unit. Because over time, that metal would wear the PVC down. Still, just come up on my 
will have these off with a cutter at some point. I don't know if it'll be tonight or tomorrow, but I'll hack off the accent, the excess of it with a nice little cutter. Tighten this next one up some, and then you're going to have your axle pretty much in place. It's not that hot out here, it's just, this is hot. <laughs> cranking, cranking, cranking. So, it can wear you down. Just constant turning, 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 trying to get the same to the point of where... See, this one you're going to want tight. The next one you'll want where the wheel can spin. But you want this one tight. And the reason why you want it tight is because you want this to not move in that axle. We're getting there. tighten up now. That's what you want. You want to tighten up real good where it's not going to move on you. And that's going to kind of set this axle permanently fixed in there where it can't be spun around. There we go. See now this axle is not going to move. So what will happen is the wheels will move on it instead of the axle moving. So what I'm going to do next, this is just me, I'm going to put this here protect that and I'm gonna put a wheel on one of these little wheels like this and then a washer keep the wheel on and nut and we'll do the other side and at that point we should be ready to haul this thing down to the water tomorrow so let's put this here this turn in it. Just got to keep cranking it down. Let's 
that one's on, but it's not tightened yet. So let's do the same for the other one real quick. I'm going washer, wheel, washer, nut. So washer, wheel, washer, nut. That's just so we don't lose any pieces here now with all this. We're almost done. <laughs> There's light at the end of that tunnel. Like I said, I decided this week to do this just because I don't have my stickers for my truck and carrying the kayak everywhere this isn't really fun either. I'll just run some bungee straps underneath this just to hold it to get it down to the beach and I can get it out from there and I can throw this in the back. So that's, you know, what the game plan is. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. So we're tightening this up. And like I said, you want it where the wheel can still spin. You don't want it so tight that the wheel's grabbing. Okay. Getting close now. But you don't want it wobbly either, where it's going to wear the wheel out or break it. You don't want to give them that kind of option. Like that right about there, I'm pretty happy with. It's like it may be a little, see that's too much. See how it won't move now? Lay back off a little bit. Well, it's okay. I can go just a tad bit looser, but I don't want to get slop in it. So, there we go. So that's a little too wobbly for my liking. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. There we go. Good. Pretty happy with that. Not bad for a bunch of wheels that were sitting in the just in a bucket waiting to be trashed. Got some new life out of them and I can use them again. So hopefully with the yak only being 70 pounds, 68 pounds, this will hold up and no problem. We'll find out. If it doesn't, I'm going to cry. <laughs> All this money and time. I probably got about 55 bucks total into this so far, but that's not too bad for a little cart if it can get me down to the beach to launch or for camping I can take it and uh, use it you know to get me to the boat ramp park my truck in a parking spot unload it take this and get me down the boat ramp because I really don't like dragging the kayak because of uh, damage in the keel and stuff you know being like a plastic and then boat ramps are rough so there we go Turn, 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 turn. So here we go. Maybe just a hair off. Boom, we're done. That's it. There's your kayak dolly. It stays, the wheel stays low enough that the yak won't hit it. And um, let's go test it. So, here we go. Basically, what I'm going to do is this. Slide this under so we pick the kayak up. So, uh, slide that under. Pull it up on there some. And it down. And then we'll wheel it. I'll probably go a little bit further up and then I'll bungee it. What I'll do is this, I'll keep it under like that and I'll run a bungee strap around it both sides, hook it to the eye hooks right here, run it down and around both sides to keep it 
just keep the weight on it till I get it down to the beach. So, again, this is John. Um, it's not the best dolly out there. I know people made a lot more professional looking ones than that, but for 50 bucks and within two days time, um, you know, in the evenings, I've got what I wanted, which is to get this thing down to the water tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow we'll shoot a YouTube video, catching crabs, catching fish, stuff like that. Um, you guys have a good weekend. And uh, as always, thanks for tuning in and watching my videos.